If there's one event in 2022 that symbolizes the struggle between autocracy and democracy, it is Russian President Vladimir Putin's threats to Ukraine. This is not just about a possible military invasion of a sovereign state. It is the blatant menace to a democracy that has made considerable strides over the past 20 years. International ideas own global state of democracy indices show that Ukraine outperforms much of the region, joining the group of mid-performing democracies a few years ago. These indices are not just academic. They tell a real story about a country's path towards democracy. They show that Ukraine has been willing to break with its past by holding clean elections, protecting media integrity, and fighting corruption. They show a country that has chosen the path to democracy and the EU rather than the combination of autocracy and kleptocracy represented by Russia. This is why Ukraine has suffered from Russian aggressions over the past eight years. From the annexation of Crimea and the war in Donbass, to cyber attacks and the intimidation of journalists, human rights defenders, and civil society. And yet, this is a country where citizens, politicians, and activists continue to work together to cement democratic values. Polls show that Ukrainians want more democracy, not less. Putin wants to suppress this democratic energy on his doorstep. History shows that democratic vibrancy is often contagious among neighbors. For years, international idea and our partners have supported civil society to advance democracy in Ukraine, and we will continue to do so. At this dangerous moment, let it be known that international idea stands with the Ukrainian people, with their sovereignty, with their right to a peaceful coexistence with their neighbors, and above all, with their just aspirations for democracy.